Alright guys, I just got back from Shields. This is my first time ever going there. I thought about bringing the camera inside, but I decided not to. I want to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I bought today. I bought $50 worth of stuff, including crankbaits, soft plastics, spinnerbaits, jerkbaits, you name it, I bought it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what you can get from Shields for 50 bucks. So the first thing I bought was a deep diving crankbait. This is like a shad color. They had it on sale for $4.99. It was originally $11.99, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. It's made by Rapala. I don't have very many deep diving crankbaits, so this was one that I definitely needed. The name of this one is the Cracklin Crank. So it's got some rattles in there. Overall, pretty nice solid crankbait. I'm going to use this probably on the river and throw this near rock stumps and stuff like that to get a reaction bite. So that's definitely a good bait for the spring. The next one I got is similar except it's a red color. Um, I really really like this color guys. I'm telling you this is an awesome color. This is not going to dive as deep. It's a shallow diving crankbait. So Another great crankbait, uh, that was also $11.99 and I got that for $4.99. So they had a pretty good sale going on today. So the next bait that I bought was some Rage Tail. This is made by Strike King. These are awesome baits to use in the summertime on jig trailers. They didn't have black and blue, which is what I normally throw. So I bought Watermelon Red Flake. This is a very natural green color and I love to throw this in clear ponds. So great color. And I also bought an albino white color. I'm going to throw this on the back of a swim jig. And with all of the creature tails and stuff on there, it's going to give it a really good swimming action. So I couldn't be happier with the price. It was originally $5.99. I got it for $3.99. So uh, overall, pretty good bait. And it's also coffee scented, so keep that in mind. Now to the next bait is Reaction Innovations Sungill. This is, I believe, the three inch, so you get nine of them in here. This was $4. I've had a lot of success with it in the past. I used to throw their beavers, but now I really like those rage tail beavers instead. So they make great swim baits. Be sure to check them out. Um, sometimes I'll even drop shot these and throw them on the back of swim jigs. So uh, overall, pretty good bait to check out. And for the price, you can't beat it. Now the next bait is a Rapala Shadow Wrap. This is the deep version, purple descent color. This is $9. This is going to be my most expensive thing that I bought. Um, it's a great spring bait, guys. I'm telling you, if you guys want to catch a lot of bass in the spring, even on ponds, uh, this bait has seemed to do the trick for me. I've caught 50 bass in one day on it, so I really like it. The hooks are kind of janky on it, but... Uh, I really like the suspending action that this bait has to offer. So kind of expensive, but a great bait, so be sure to check them out. Now these next two purchases go together hand in hand. This is a swim jig made by Strike King. This is one of my go-to swim jigs. This is a shad color. Um, I sometimes get bluegill color as well. And this is what I'm really excited about. Of everything that i purchased so far, this is something that I have not used, but I've seen a lot of good uh, feedback from these. This is a 3.3 inch shad colored Kitek swim bait. They're really ribbed, so whenever the fish bite onto it, it's gonna feel a little bit more realistic and it's not gonna just slide out of their mouths. Now my last bait is a blade bait. This was $3. Um, this is just a thin fisher. It was $3.49, got it on sale for $2.49, so it's going to be a good bait to throw for white bass in the summertime, and it's got a bluegill color to it, so can't be more excited. 50 bucks, got all these baits. First time going to Shields, an awesome place. So if you guys enjoyed this unbagging video, I know it was kind of short, but like I said, it was only 50 bucks, and if you guys like buying fishing stuff, you know 50 bucks is not going to get you very far. So, especially when it comes to bass fishing stuff. And musculars, I'm telling you, you'll only probably be able to buy two musculars with that amount of money. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.